Hello passion fruits and welcome to another cooking video. It's been a long time since we've done one of these. In this video you'll learn how to make delicious waffles made out of only whole buckwheat. Yes, you've heard that right. No flour, only the whole grain, bananas and two other condiments. It's super easy so let's get into the video. In this container I have two and a half cups of raw buckwheat that I've soaked overnight. It should soak for at least 8 hours before you use it. This will get all of the phytic acid out of the buckwheat so your body can properly absorb all of the good nutrients in the buckwheat. When eating grains and legumes that haven't been soaked, the phytic acid binds to minerals in the gastrointestinal tract and cannot be absorbed in the intestine. Too many bound minerals can lead to mineral deficiencies. By soaking you are breaking down the phytic acid so it can be absorbed correctly for proper digestion. You can even take it up a notch and sprout your buckwheat for a couple of days before you use it. This will double the amount of vitamins and minerals. I didn't have time to sprout it this time so I'm just using it soaked and not sprouted. If you don't know how to sprout buckwheat then let me know in the comments and I'll make a tutorial about it. It's super easy, you just need to know a few basic things. First I give the buckwheat a good rinse and then I add it to my food processor. Then I blend it until it becomes a smooth thick dough. You'll probably have to stop the processing and stir your buckwheat around a few times to make sure all the grains get processed. When you're finished it looks like this. Then you're going to add two ripe bananas to the mixture and blend again. Then I add a caramel dip which is completely sugar free. It's vegan, sugar free and fat free and only contains 3.6 calories per 100 grams. So it tastes like real caramel but it's actually not. I find this dip ideal to sweeten recipes without having to use stevia or other sugars. So I add 2 tablespoons of the dip and about 2 tablespoons of cinnamon and then I blend it up just one more time. In the meanwhile, my waffle iron has been warming up, so it's time to put our dough in it. The waffles need quite some time. Don't be alarmed if your iron starts to steam a lot, this is normal. Only when the machine stops steaming can you begin to check on your waffles from time to time. When the waffles don't stick to the iron anymore, you can remove them and top them with your favorite fruit or sauce. The waffles are crunchy on the outside and a bit soft on the inside, just as I like them. I like to top them with this chocolate sauce. A lot of chocolate sauces are vegan as long as they're made out of pure chocolate. I'm not saying it's super healthy, but as long as everything else you're eating is so healthy and whole, you can afford it to have something sugary once in a while. As long as you don't eat a bathtub of chocolate sauces and syrups every day, you'll be fine. I eat this for dinner so often and it even makes me lose weight super fast. You can warm these waffles up the next day, but don't do it in the microwave. Just put them back in the waffle iron for just a minute and they'll be just as good in texture as the first time. But if you reheat them in the microwave, they'll become really soggy. You can also make a big batch of these and freeze them for later use. I hope you liked this healthy recipe. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to share this video on your social media platforms. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!